Okay, so the extermination is coming in six months instead of a year. No big deal, just a little setback. Nothing we can't handle, just angels cutting our timetable in half, but who needs a whole year to save souls, am I right? And next time when they cut the time in half again, and again, we'll just handle it, right? Yes. We will. Oh, please. You had less than half a chance when you started all this salvation bullshit. And now... Ain't no silver lining this time, toots. Sure. there is. We just have to look a little harder for it. People are already freaking out about the news. Look at what's happening in the Doomsday District. Uh, what is a donkey show? Oh, yeah, uh, nothing. My boss, Val, is just freaked out about the news, too. Like I said, everyone's losing their shit. Yeah, that's true. Sinners are desperate. Maybe desperate enough to try anything to escape the extermination. <gasps> This is the perfect time to recruit more sinners for the hotel! Cute idea and all. But you really gonna go out in all of this? Well, it's not like people are just going to show up on our doorstep. Who am I? Who am I? I am the great serpentious inventor, architect of destruction, villain extraordinaire! Ooh, you tell him, boss. <gasps> Ooh, he's a bad boy. Oh. Well, if all that's true, you'd think I'd have heard of you. I attacked you literally last week.
we've done battle like 20 times? Well, you must have been really bad at this. Silence! Now, power! For when I've slain you, the almighty Vs will finally acknowledge me as their equal. Ooh. Wait, who are the Vs? Oh, nobody important. New Vox Tech designer voyeur scopes. Peeping on the neighbors has never been more stylish. Vox Tech. Trust us, your money. This week's episode of Yeah, I Fucked Your Sister, So What? is brought to you by Vox Tech. Trust us with your entertainment. Hello there, Velvet. How are you this hellish morning? Oh, cut the shit, boss. I need you up here now. <laughs> Whatever could be the problem, my dear. Your little boy toy is wrecking my department while I'm trying to pull together a show. And fucking this just... Get her off here, now! Damn it, Valentino! <sighs> oh yeah, and here I go, Valentino. Just another fucking day with Val. Hey, 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 fuck my life. Mr. Vox, what are your thoughts on the new extermination deadline? My dear people, we at Vox Tech Enterprises have always been at the forefront of innovation. And now, with this new oncoming threat, we are shifting our focus to your protection. We are pleased to announce... Vox Tech Angelic Security is coming soon. Trust us with your safety. <laughs> When did we begin working on angelic security? 30 seconds ago. Try to get that bitch Carmilla on the books and cancel all my appointments today. I have a fire to put out upstairs. <laughs> Unacceptable. You're fired. What is this? Wrist ruffles? Is it 1750? Burn it like the witches who wore it. <laughs> oh, Velvet, I can see you're busy. Tell me, where's our hot-headed friend now? Up in his tower, waiting for a flat-faced prince to calm him down. And, uh, what's got him so out of sorts today? Who knows? But he tore up my best model. And you know the show can't wait for that unlucky bitch to pull herself back together. Melissa, get over here! No, no, hideous. I want to die. Ew! Yes, that's the one. Now, looks like you have everything under control here. Of course I do. Fuck you. Now
Now, sure. Take care of the piss baby. Fucking finally! Ugh. Kitty, another drink! Can you believe what that piece of shit did? The ungrateful whore! Um, which whore are we talking about this time? Fucking angel dust! Who the hell else would I be talking about? That fucking slut walked out on me. Me! I fucking made him! Without me, he's just a bag of meat with some mildly entertaining holes. Angel quit? No! He didn't fucking quit! It's worse! He moved! He thinks he can just walk in here, work, and then go home somewhere else? Can you fucking believe that? He thinks he can run off and shack up with Lucifer's bimbo daughter. Angel is living with Lucifer's daughter now? Yeah, that bitch, Chalky or Chandler, or I don't know, something mannish like that. She's got this hotel and... Which of these makes me look sexier? <laughs> what are you doing, Val? You're not going over there. That slippery twink is going to remember who owns him. I'm gonna fuck everyone in that rancid shithole, I swear to God. Val! <laughs> Think about it. Our brand is perfection. And what do you think chasing whores around town will do for our image? Uh, fuck it up? Right! Do you want people thinking you can't control your employees? No. Exactly. And hey, you still have him under contract, he isn't going anywhere. So, you should... Do nothing? Great idea! Now that's why they pay you the big bucks. <gasps> I really wanted to shoot someone. Well, let me call up the lowest earners this month. Oh, you know me too well. <laughs> you know, Angel isn't the only one spending time at this ratty hotel with the Devil's Princesa. Oh, who else is there? Someone who owes you money? <laughs> Someone who owes us much more than money. The radio demon is there. What did you just say? You heard me. 
Alistair came back, and he is with Lucifer's daughter, and that wasn't the first fucking thing you told me! Killing Alistair is your kink. Thanks for another forgettable experience. Thank you for letting your guard down. Ah, ah. Oh, shit. It looks as though I need a visit to the tailor. Best of luck, chums! Wait, you're leaving? Alistair, we need your help. We need you to do your job. We need a wall. Of course! Can't let my new project fall into disrepair already! What would the paper say? <laughs> hey, sweet cheeks. What you doing later? I love me a man with a giant tool. See? Look at how he flirts with that guy, and he's not even paying! Who is that? I'm gonna fucking kill this whole fucking family! Fox? Fox! That fucker is back! I thought he was gone for good, too. It's been seven years! You still pissed he almost beat you that time? Uh, fuck you! Just saying. Things have changed a lot since he left town. That's for sure. I gotta send a message of who's really in charge of things now! <laughs> Welcome 
a home. I'm gonna make you wish that you'd stayed gone. Say hello to a new status quo. Everyone knows that there's a brand new dawn. Turn the TV on! Camera speeds rolling in three, two. a certain has-been who has been spotted cavorting around town after a seven-year absence. Did anybody notice? More on tonight's program. So the radio demon is back in town. Why is he hanging around? What does that mean for your family? Well, Handley, I've got good news. He's a loser, a fossil, and I don't mean to sound hostile. But the demon is a coward. You can take that as gospel. Pulling my viewers impossible. I'm visual. He's barely audible. Stop giving him the time of day. Don't listen to a word he'd say. I hope he had a nice vacay, but he should have stayed away. While he hid in radio, we pivoted to video. Now his medium is getting bloody rare. Hell's been better since he split. Where's he been? Who gives a shit? Video podcast. His looks insecure, pursuing a lure, but in between this fat and that is nothing working. Ignore his chirping. Every day he's got a new format. You're looking at the future. He's the shit that comes before that. His looks as strong as he purports, or is it based on his support? He'd be powerless without the other bees. Oh, please. And he is the sugar on the cream. He asked me to join his team. Hold on. Prick. I'll show you suffering. Uh oh, the TV is buffering. I'll destroy you. I'm afraid you've lost your signal. Let's begin. Gonna make you wish that I'd stayed gone Tune on in when I'm done Your status quo will know its race is run 
<laughs> we have a problem. Alistair is getting close to little Princess Morningstar, so our main concern now is ensuring that no deal is ever struck between Lucifer's brat and that smiling freak. Well, how exactly are we supposed to stop it? Put something inside them. That's how I get the bitches to behave. Yeah. Well, maybe someone on the inside isn't such a bad idea. Do you think Angel would? <sighs> that lanky prick won't even return my calls. We need someone who Little Miss Bleeding Heart would take in. Someone pathetic, desperate, with no direct ties to us. I employ every down-on-their-luck loser this side of hell. Who the fuck is left? <laughs> I think I have... Just the one. <laughs> so, how'd it go? <sighs> not a single new recruit. Yeah, well, who would want to use their last days not fucking and fighting? Why, hello, my dear. Wait, wait, wait! I come in peace! What are you doing here? Baggy, what's the problem? <gasps> oh! Hello again! I didn't come looking for a fight. I, uh, I heard that you're helping people. People who want to be better. <gasps> you heard right! Welcome to our home of healing, our resort of restoration, our- Are you fucking nuts? This chump was trying to kill us like literally six hours ago. And now you want to bring him in here to live with us? Absolutely. This place is about second chances. And who deserves one more than this? Slithery, slippery, special little man. Aren't you supposed to protect this place? I guess he's not much of a threat without the war machine. Or even with the war machine. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! <gasps> Serpentious, welcome to the Hasbin Hotel! Oh, no, darling, thank you. You won't regret this. Eh, I give you a week. Tops. So, this is the bar and the bartender. This is the curtain, and this is the new wall after you broke the last one. <laughs> and, oh, oh, this, this is... Babe, you don't have to show them every detail. Sorry, I'm just so excited to have our first real guest. Uh, what the hell am I then? 
Well, you're an important part of our family here, Angel, but you, um, uh... Constantly make us look bad, sexually harass the staff, and have literally never once tried to improve? What she means is, it's just nice to have someone interested for once. Over here, we have our maid, Vifty. <laughs> the bad boy is back! <laughs> Never leave me again. We're about 80% sure she's harmless. And over here, we have... Oh, uh, Alistair, our gracious facility manager. You've met our newest guest, Sir Pentius. <laughs> ah, yes. You're the one who ruined my coat. I definitely remember you now. Well, I guess this is a great time for your first lesson. Ahem, how to apologize. The first step to becoming a better person is to admit when you are wrong. Why don't you give it a try? Yes, um, Mr. Um, Radio Demon, sir. Please forgive me for attacking you and ruining your very lovely coat. Um, yeah. Oh, -ho! not many people have been able to take even this much off me. It must have meant quite a lot to you. Now, with a new resident, I think it's important we all get to know each other. So we are going to play a little game. Everyone, follow me. My name is Charlie. I like to sing. And when we get to know each other, it's the greatest thing. My name's Serpentius. I like to build. And despite my stupid egg boys, I think I'm very skilled. This is stupid. This is not stupid! It's just the game! Sir Pentius did it well, so now please try to do the same! I am too sober for this. Well well, get used to it and learn how to play. This is gonna be your whole day. Oh, I'm a bad man on the streets who never got enough hugs. Now, where's an innocent kid I can sell crack to? Wow, who wrote this? It's great, right? Keep going. Hey, you. Who, me? Yeah, you look like a kid who could use some devil's dantruff. Oh, for fuck's sake. Not me. I have to go home and study. Come on, kid. It'll make you cool like me. The crackhead. The
only cool thing here is to say no to drugs. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to not have sexual intercourse before marriage! Well, Penges, at this rate, you'll be redeemed in no time. I... I'm going to bed. I am so proud of you, Sir Penges. That was amazing. Thank you. You, Thank you. you like me. You really like me. Baby, come home. It's not the same without you here. I miss you. Come back. Angel, you bitch! If you don't come home, you will be fucking greasy truckers for the next year! Hey, amorcito, I didn't mean to yell, but you know how crazy you make me get. You, you fucking slut! Hey, Angie, about earlier. Kill your whole fucking family! Work's really stressful. Little cocksucking piece of shit! You you actually think you can change? Attic trash like you doesn't change. I'll see you soon, baby. Sorry. Not now, Fat Nuggets. Shit. <laughs> you working for the V's? I fucking knew there was something shitty about you. I don't know what you're talking about, Horbug. <laughs> Average body! Off of me! Fuck! <sighs> What's going on? This little bitch is a traitor. Preposterous! I would never betray you! You are my best friends! Uh huh. Then explain this. Penchus in need of immediate evacuation! Penchus? Wait, you were caught? It hasn't even been a day! Please, you've got to get me out of here! I can't believe we thought you could handle even something this simple. You do us a favor. If they don't kill you, go ahead and do it yourself! You miserable failure! I... I... Just make it quick, I guess. Not that I deserve it. Gladly. 
Wait. Pinches? It starts with sorry. That's your foot in the door. One simple sorry. Spoken straight from your core. The path to forgiveness is a twisting trail of hearts, but sorry is where it starts. Who could forgive a dirtbag like me? I don't deserve your amnesty. Can't we just kill him, shoot him and spit? Good first day. Let's get some rest. What? You'll have to try harder than that next time, old pal. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> 